All right, today I'm going to show you how to do a few of the more advanced functions in Desmos, the online calculator that we will be using. So you can either pull up Desmos through your Canvas, or you, or sorry, you can pull up Desmos through Clever, or you can just go to desmos.com. And we're going to use the graphing calculator for this today. Now, first off, um, you can type in any equation and Desmos will graph it for you. So let's say I wanted, uh, wanted to graph y equals 2x minus 5. I just type that in and Desmos creates this nice little graph right there um, as well. We can have more than one equation on here. Let's say y equals negative 1 half x uh, plus 3. And so now we have two lines on here. But let's say, for instance, we want to play around with a lot of things. Let's say that we want a line that we want to adjust and change as we go throughout what we're working with. I'm going to delete these two lines first by clicking the X's. And then I'm simply going to type in Y equals MX plus B. And when I do this, you see down here it says add slider for M, B, or all. I'm going to go ahead and click all. Because what that's going to do is that's going to bring up these two sliders right here. And what this means is I can click and drag and it will change the y-intercept of my equation to be whatever value it is right here. So now I've changed b equals uh, 5 and so it's moved up. So we see our y-intercept is right here at positive 5. I can also change the slope similarly and this will adjust my line right here. And this idea with the sliders will work for any form of a general equation. So it works with slope intercept form like we see here, but it will also work with standard form of quadratic. So I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to type y equals ax squared plus bx plus C. So this is standard form for a quadratic equation. Once again, I see sliders for A, B, and C, and I'm going to press all right here. So now we see a parabola, and we can adjust any of these three values here. I can adjust my first value, A, which seems to make it skinnier or wider. I can adjust B, which seems to adjust where the vertex is. And then I can adjust C, which is my y-intercept right there. 